Today, folks, we have some brand new information for you. I, I guess I'm the public source on this. I want to know what it is a rumor, of course, but seems to be fairly reliable about some brand new games coming from Nintendo, if not before the end of this year, by the end of quarter one of 2025. And it'll all make sense when I go over what I was told. Uh, to remember, we're going to be talking about things like a brand new Kirby game. And no, what I have, the information I got, has nothing to do with the 4chan rumors of a Kirby game going around. Although we'll go over those during this video too, just in case they happen to be related to the Kirby game we're going to be talking about. But there's more than just Kirby here. We have some stuff with Switch Sports and other games. That's right. It sounds like a Nintendo Direct is happening later this year, which, surprise, surprise, Nintendo does Directs usually in September, so that's when I would expect it. And they will have more Nintendo Switch games to announce. So, yes, I am the public source on this, but we'll go over all this in a moment. Before we do, I want to remind you we're on a road to 150,000 thousand subscribers so if you would like to subscribe to the channel i would appreciate it uh, it helps us get to our goals and you know what leave a comment below once you're done watching the video on what your favorite part of this is and what you think about a brand new kirby game because that will be a huge focus here now before i dive into my sources on that and there will be timestamps down below let's first go over the well the, like the well-known public stuff from 4chan again because this could be related to what we're about to talk about so first we have this post over on 4chan here where it says a kirby leak i don't know what it is and it's this image now this image has been shared and been around for a while we see this bean in the background kirby right here some japanese stuff going now the story behind this image is very weird but we'll go over it anyways little not safe for work to be honest but it says anons i think i found something for context apparently this was taken by a japanese man taking pictures of kirby stuff to impress a foreigner overseas for nudes like i said not exactly safe for work there uh this is either a well-made photoshop or this dude is seriously risking his job for titties either way i'm enjoying the fireworks i tried to use reverse image search couldn't find it anywhere and yes reverse image search just brings us back to this thread but there's more at stake here of course this is just one of many things because we actually have more information right here and another screenshot of that same looking similar character first if we look at that screenshot this does kind of look like it's on a nintendo switch screen maybe a couple scuffs on the screen here and there but uh this does look like it's at least on a nintendo switch screen and this rumor goes on to say kirby and the celestial stars so i'm already going to lose my job the title is kirby and the celestial stars the title is not finalized platform is a new 2d game for switch uncertain if it will release on switch 2 or whatever it's going to be called Unique features, the IR camera on the Joy-Cons apparently can be used in certain parts of the game, up to two-player co-op for a story mode, four-player co-op mini-games, there will be amiibo support, new copy abilities, but he does note that one of these is fake because F you. Uh, junk Kirby, the more enemies or blocks you attack, the more junk orbits around Kirby, damaging enemies and obstacles before exploding and losing the power-up. Rabbit Kirby, where Kirby transforms into a bleach white bunny that could dig underground and jump high. Kirby can also use the power up to throw carrots as a projectile. Uh, ice Cream Kirby. Kirby is given a giant ice cream cone that he uses both as a shield and a weapon. When Kirby picks up enemies or blocks with the cone, they turn into scoops of ice cream. Uh, let me see. Once Kirby collects at least three enemies on his ice cream cone, he can eat them to gain a brain freeze power up, which acts like a screen nuke, but also removes his current power up. Alternatively, Kirby can continue to just use the ice cream cone as a weapon with the scoops serving as projectiles. There's cosmic Kirby, the main gimmick of the game. Kirby collects celestial stars in certain levels to transform into cosmic Kirby. His skin becomes reflective of space and he can suck up large portions of the level to get past obstacles, very similar to hypernova in Kirby. Kirby Triple Deluxe, but now in a 3D environment. And that's everything I know by, I would probably say, the ice cream cone one, a supernova nuke that clears the screen. I don't know. It's possible in a Kirby game, but I'm going to kind of let that go. I don't really think that's what's going on. I, again, I wanted to bring this rumor up, not because I think this 4chan rumor is true, but I can't ignore it now, given what I'm about to share with you, because this does have to do with Kirby. Now, I want to note, this is one of my own trusted sources. Uh, this person has been reliable with me in the past and is very friendly. However, it is third-hand information. I just want to note that because third-hand information isn't the most reliable, but I do trust the person. And instead of me paraphrasing, I'm going to read exactly what they told me. Not going to reveal who the source is, but get excited. 
So here's the backstory. Again, I'm quoting. A few of my friends got an email from a marketing team that deals with sponsorships. This sponsorship was directly from Nintendo. The sponsorship outlined several games for them to cover, such as Echoes of Wisdom, Mario & Luigi, Mario Party Jamboree, but a few things were said in this email that are not known you know, publicly. They also mentioned Switch Sports, which might seem normal, but there was an update for basketball that already came out. Again, the Switch Sports thing could just be there. They want to market it for the holidays, of course, but maybe there's another sport that they're going to add. You know, They can keep expanding Switch Sports as much as they want. Now, that's his opinion. That's the opinion of my source. That is not obviously what's in the information. I want to make sure that part is separated. The Switch Sports stuff, more of an opinion that it means something, but it was mentioned. Now, this is where things get exciting. Also, they mentioned Kirby and, he quotes, more games up until quarter one, 2025. I'm putting the pieces together and it seems like another direct is a lock with something Kirby also coming out. Now we obviously have that Kirby rumor from 4chan and you can look at this and be like, well, Nate, that doesn't really sound that concrete. Look, I obviously had further conversations with the source to kind of go over this stuff and make sure that it was, it was pretty rock solid to at least bring to your attention. Because obviously when I'm the person that's public bringing it forward, it's my reputation that's put on the line, not theirs. They, they want degrees of separation from this. That's why I can't reveal who the source is, but I am like kind of in this mindset where Kirby's almost come out every year. So I wouldn't be really shocked if there was a shadow dropped Kirby game this year, or if this is like, cause it says until quarter one, which to me means like, you know, the rest of this year, but also it could indicate that maybe it means until the end of quarter one. And we were missing some of the language from the email. So maybe the Kirby game is going to be a quarter one game for Nintendo switch. And remember we do have donkey Kong country returns coming out in January next year. So far, the only, a uh, quarter one confirmed game from Nintendo. We obviously know that Pokemon Legends ZA and Metroid Prime 4 come out at some point next year. Both of them already announced for Switch. But it, it wouldn't be surprising if there was a Kirby game to kick off next year or maybe slipping into like December of this year or something as a possibility because right now Nintendo does not have a published December game. So it could be the December game. Also, obviously this is Kirby. So with it being a Kirby game and it, it maybe being a side scrolling one, we don't know. To me, the, it, it could be Shadow Drop. They have Shadow Drop various Kirby games before. But what's interesting about this is they didn't just mention Kirby, but more games. So even more games than the ones that have already been mentioned. The Echoes of Wisdom, the Jamboree, the Brothership, the Kirby, more games than that. And so it makes me wonder what else Nintendo might have up their sleeves. What else could they hold close to the vest that doesn't need a crap ton of marketing before it comes out? And I kept thinking, like, what would it be? Like, if it was a big Mario game or something else like that, that's probably going to go with Switch 2. What could still be on slate for Switch? And the one game that keeps popping into my mind that makes the most sense is that Fire Emblem Genealogy of the Holy War remake that has been rumored forever. Like, you could obviously jump to the Zelda Wind Waker Twilight Princess, but we have Echoes of Wisdom. So I don't really feel like they're going to double the, double dip the Zelda. But I do think a Fire Emblem remake could really slot in well between now and the end of March of 2025. You throw that in with Donkey Kong, it kind of fits in with the current slate of games they're doing as well. And again, they would they'd only need a few months to market the game. They're, that's not a game that they need to market for a year. because It's technically not brand new. It would be like a remake remaster of an older Fire Emblem game. Um, and, and it might be the way to go, especially after the last Fire Emblem game, maybe didn't do as well as they wanted, you know, at the beginning of last year. So this one could maybe be a return to form for them and get some more sales, or maybe it just sells as well as the one did last year, which by the way, is already discounted. Nintendo's already discounted that game. So Nintendo doesn't discount their games like that. So clearly the Fire Emblem game last year didn't go off well for them. So maybe they want to get this remastered out here before the end of the generation, just to milk a little more sales out of that Fire Emblem series. Again, that's just my speculation. There's no indication there. Obviously, you can go down below and let me know what other games you think are a possibility between now and the end of the first quarter for Nintendo Switch. Because I don't think it's going to be like a massive, major, groundbreaking, you know, first party game at this point. Because I feel like all those will be saved for the next system. So you got to think of games that would really slot well 
into the remaining months we have here through quarter one. Now, the reason I say through quarter one is that's just kind of what it says. More games up until quarter one of 2025. Don't know if that means up until the end of quarter one or up until quarter one begins, but still pretty fascinating. So again, I'll read these quotes one more time so you guys don't have to rewind. Uh, it says, so here's the backstory. A few of my friends got an email from a marketing team that deals with sponsorships. The sponsorship was directly from Nintendo. The sponsorship outlined several games for them to cover, such as Echoes of Wisdom, Mario and Luigi, Mario Party, but a few of the things said in this email were not known. They also mentioned Switch Sports, and then this is his opinion part, which may seem normal, but the update for basketball already came out, at least to me. It indicates even more content could be coming. Again, that's his opinion. That wouldn't mention... They wouldn't mention Switch Sports randomly in this kind of email if something new wasn't coming out. Could argue maybe just because they want to market it for the holidays, but that's neither here nor there. Then the rest of the quotes I have here says, also, they mentioned Kirby and more games up until quarter one of 2025, putting the pieces together. And it seems like another direct is a lock with something Kirby also coming out. So that is the quotes. That's what I have for you guys. Not BSing you, not making this stuff up. I know some people assume I just make things up. I, I have a direct source on this stuff. Uh, it, it, it's pretty crazy. Hell, I'll show the dang um, DM on screen, but things will be blocked out. And you won't be able to tell who it is because, again, protecting sources. You guys are awesome. I want to thank you so much for being here, and I will catch you in the next video.